Well, hey there, folks. I'm meteorologist Matt Barentine. Uh, pretty quiet setup. We do have an old frontal boundary kind of draped in the area. That will be the focal point of some showers and storms for us today. You'll see that here on the future cast. When I put this into motion, it should be pretty quiet through the morning. Not a whole lot happening. There we are at noontime doing pretty good. Then as we get towards 2 o'clock, now we're starting to see the sea breeze right through there beginning to take shape. And then watch what happens later in the afternoon. We'll start seeing a few showers and storms bubble up. Now, uh, looking at the modeling today, uh, just showing the showers and storms happening pretty late in the day. That's around six o'clock, so that will impact things after work. Maybe you have some Friday night plans. You can see the showers and storms sort of lined up right along I-10. You know, so they don't go too far inland. So a lot of inland areas will stay quiet today. It's going to be in and around I-10 that has the best chance of seeing some of these scattered showers and thunderstorms once you go a little more inland because uh, isolated too unlikely to seeing any rain. So just depending on where you are at, the, whether or not you'll see those pop-up storms late late in the afternoon uh, and then that thing should wrap should wrap up early evening and we should be OK after that. Look how hot we get. We get well up into the 90s today. Factor in the heat index on top of that. It's going to feel probably about around 100 or so. It is going to be a hot and toasty day, so you'll be hoping for some of those showers. It looks like they're going to come too late to really do a whole lot with that heat. Uh, tropics, Gulf, Caribbean, Atlantic, all quiet. No worries. So we're doing good out in the tropics. Our weekend is going to be a 50-50 type weekend. There are going to be some pop-up showers and storms both Saturday and Sunday. Now, don't change your plans because of that. Just be aware that in the afternoon you might have to pack things in for a little while and just listen out for some thunder and lightning. Here's what it looks like over the next seven days. Uh, so takes you into next week and we'll continue to see scattered showers and storms on most days temperatures well up into the 90s as well.